Here we're given four different equations and asked to solve for a particular variable. Our first equation, we have i equals p r t. We want to solve for p. So we want to isolate this p on the right side of the equation. Well, p r t means p times r times t. So to undo the multiplication and isolate p, we can divide both sides of the equation by r t. Notice by doing this, on the right side, we have r divided by r, which simplifies to one, as well as t divided by t, which simplifies to one. So we have i divided by rt equals p. Or if we want p equals i divided by rt. Next we have the equation 11x plus 2y equals six. We want to solve the equation for y, this variable here, so we want to isolate y on the left side of the equation. Let's first isolate the y term. To do this, we have this 11x here, which we can undo by subtracting 11x on both sides of the equation. Notice now on the left side, we have 11x minus 11x, that's zero. So we have 2y equals six minus 11x or negative 11x plus six, either way. And now two y means two times y. So to undo this multiplication and isolate y, we want to divide both sides of the equation by two. So two divided by two simplifies to one. So we have y equals, now on the right side we can leave it like this, or we can write this as two separate fractions. We can write this as negative 11x divided by two plus six divided by two Notice by doing this, we can simplify six divided by two equals three. So we have negative 11 halves x plus three. Or we can also leave the x in the numerator as we have it here. I'm gonna go and leave it in this form here though. So our equation solve for y is y equals negative 11 halves x plus three. What we'll find on some of these problems is when we solve for a variable, there's more than one way to express the new equation. Next we have the equation A equals B times the quantity C plus D. We want to solve for the variable C. So we want to isolate C on the right side of the equation. There's a couple ways of going about doing this. Notice how here we have B times the quantity C plus D. So to undo this multiplication and isolate C plus D, we can divide both sides by b. We could also distribute the b, but I think dividing by b is going to be faster. So b divided by b simplifies to one. So now we have a divided by b equals c plus d. And now to isolate c, we wanna undo the plus d. We could do this by subtracting d on both sides of the equation. Notice on the right side, d minus d is zero. So we have C equals, on the left side, we have A divided by B minus D. If we want C equals A divided by B minus D. Our last equation, we have A equals P plus PRT. We want to solve this equation for T, this variable here. Let's first isolate the PRT term so we'll subtract p on both sides of the equation. Notice by doing this, p minus p is zero. So we have a minus p equals p r t. Again, p r t means p times r times t. So to isolate the t and undo this multiplication, we would divide both sides by p r. Notice on the right side, p divided by p is equal to one, and so is r divided by r. So we're left with t equals a minus p divided by pr. So we have solved this equation for t, but we can express the left side in more than one way. This way is fine, but notice how if we were to break this up into two separate fractions, we could say t is equal to a divided by pr minus p divided by pr. And notice in this form, we can simplify the second fraction since p divided by p is equal to one. So we can also say t is equal to a divided by pr minus one divided by r. And either of these two equations are acceptable. 
for this equation, I think I'll go ahead and leave it in this form here, where we have t equals the quantity a minus p divided by pr. But it is important to be aware some of these new formulas can be expressed in more than one way. I hope you found this helpful.